I've been filming for the Brent Ballers for about two months now. There are three things you need to know about this team. They're hardworking, determined and strong-willed. Sounds like the generic words that anybody would say about a basketball team, but these guys really embody it. You can see it in the way they play. You can feel it in the way they train. And you can hear it in the way they talk. I'm not going to lie. This season hasn't been the best for them so far. They're 4-7 and seven at the moment. But with injuries plaguing two of the team's central players, Jude and Emil, it got harder to get the W at the end of the game. What position? Let's meet some of the guys on the team. How long have you been at the team? Uh, seven years. Yeah. Seven years. Okay. Why did you choose this team? Because it was local. Um, because my mum heard good things about the team when it first started out from Coach JJ. And once I arrived for the first training session, I really enjoyed it. So I just kept coming and coming and coming. I built, I built a good relationship with the coaches. Okay, what position do you play, Kanal? Uh, I play point guard. How long have you been at the team? Um, about one and a half year or two years. Why did you choose this team? Um, because local, like it was near me, and I also heard about it in the camp. That's that's why I came. Here. What position do you play? I play wing. How long have you been at the team? Um, I'm playing. It's my first season playing, but I was training since last season. How did you start to play ball? Uh, coaching in school, and then, well, playing in school by a coach, and then just gradually building myself up. What position do you play? Center. How long have you been at the team? This will be my seventh year. Why did you choose this team? Now my my mum saw it in Brent magazine actually, and she wanted me to make some friends. So. <laughs> Very much. How did you start playing ball? Um, sorry, could you repeat the question? Could you repeat the question? How did you start playing ball? Um, in the playground, really. I was terrible at football in primary school, and there was this one netball net, so then I just used to shoot on it in year six, and then I used to play in secondary school, and then just came here. What, what position do you play? I play point guard. And how long have you been at the team? Just my second season playing. And why did you choose this team? Because there was high work effort, and um, plus my coach, he led me to come to this club so what position do you play and how long have you been at the team i've been at the team for five years now and why did you choose this team um i chose this team because it was local but uh more than anything like it was that like, one consistent thing that i could do in my life at that time so that's why i played ball and how did you start playing ball uh i started playing ball in primary i had like a, a teacher that just Introduced me to ball, he just used to show me tricks, and that's what got me interested in that. What position do you play? Uh, guard. What guard? What type of guard? Both. Both, which, okay, cool. Um, how long have you been playing ball? Um, I would say since year six, I think, yeah. And how did you get introduced to it in year six? Um, well, I liked athletics, I liked running. I used to do a lot of sports, then... I went to a sort of like a multi-sport sort of um, after school camp and um, a coach there, Coach Hugh, he said I should come on down to his Barnet team to play because he could see I liked running. So he thought I could run with the basketball. It might be a good idea because I was quite good at Three of the guys have been at the team for seven years. Whenever I see a team, I always wonder what their motivations are why they play, and who or what they do it for. So I asked them about it. That was that. And how did you start playing ball? I first started at school in year seven, because I just played football most of the time. Then I fell in love with the game, then just dropped football and just kept basketball. And why do you play ball? Why do you continue to play ball? Because it's a game that I'm really passionate about. I really enjoy it. I think it's really exciting. Um, uh, my coaches drive me to um, be better every day in a sport that I love and I'm really enthusiastic about it and I love like, the history of basketball much watching like, the NBA, college basketball, EuroLeague basketball and stuff. And what motivates you to improve? Um, just seeing people older than me come and go and seeing them, their improvement each summer and coming back and getting better and I think that hard work and determination I can use that in basketball, I can use that in school, I can use that in everyday life so um, I just use that, I put it into basketball and is what pushes me to 
be better on a day to day basis. Cool. Thank you, Cameron. You're welcome. And why do you play ball? Um, it helps me re release stress. Like it's something that I do outside of like studies. It it's like it's something that I love at the moment. And what motivates you to improve? Um, well, playing basketball is just, it it help <coughs> it. Well, what helps me motivate is is the fact that every time I play, like I learn new things, and playing with others just helps me get better as well. So that's what motivates me the most. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. And why do you play ball? Uh, plan is to play at the highest level that I can. And the highest level is hopefully the states. State play probably NBA. I don't know. And what motivates you to improve? Um, seeing my peers progress, seeing people that help me see my results, and see myself progress throughout different leagues I'm playing in. Thank you, Shaq. And why do you play ball? Because I enjoy it, basically. And I'm, well, I think I'm decent at it. I've got friends here. It's good for stress relief. It complements my lifestyle. Yeah. And what's your lifestyle? <laughs> what's your lifestyle like then? Um, like when I study a lot, this is good stress relief mm -hmm. for that. Okay. And what motivates you to improve? Uh, just to be like the best I can be at something, to help the team, to better like my own health. Though like when I'm playing hard at basketball, I'm studying hard as well. So. Thank you, Elliot. Thank you. Yeah. And why do you play ball? For the love of it, really. Yeah. For the love of the game? Yeah. And how did you start playing ball? So, uh, coach came into my primary school in year six, and then just picked up the fundamentals from there and carried on. And what motivates you to improve? So, just to be the best baller I can be, and to help um, others on my team, and help them progress as well. Thanks, Dwayne. Do you weigh and why do you continue to play ball? Continue to play ball because this keeps me on the straight and narrow. Like my behaviours in check helps me focus on my academics more because I feel more relaxed after I play. And what motivates you to improve? Uh, I want to beat people. I like to win. Mm. That's what so makes me. When I think about other people that I work and I try to work hard, try to as hard, I'm trying to get that dub. Cool. Thanks, Matthew. Athletics and jumping or whatever. So yeah. And why did you choose this team? Um, it wasn't so much of a choice, but I, it was like, mm, I don't know. My pe my mom pr uh, like sort of pushed me to go there. I wasn't really willing to go there at first, but as I like, the more I went, the more I liked it. It wasn't really, yeah. It was more my mom pushing me, but now it's myself pushing me to go. And why do you play ball? Um, I love basketball. Like, yeah, I played it for so long and I never thought I would get this good. So, yeah, I can only get better. And what motivates you to improve? Um, <laughs> yeah, a few other players, like playing on a National League team is different. I transitioned going from a different team where um, the ball was always in my hands to a different team where I'm... Um, helping and playing with other players who are at my level even better. So it's good to, yeah, playing at this level so I can feed off other players and they can feed off me. Thanks for the interview, Andrew. Okay. Coach Alex and Coach Shannard don't mess about either in training or in games. Three chances to mess up. When you lose them all, suicide or 17s. I asked Coach Alex how he feels about the team and where London basketball is going. What sets this team apart from other teams in the league? Quite clearly the coaching. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, really what sets us apart from other teams is our defensive intensity. Your defensive intensity? Yeah. Okay. And why did you start coaching? Um, I started coaching when I got injured in university, I was coaching a female team and it was just passing time 
to get back to being better. We won the national championships for the university league then, and I realised I was alright at it, so I continued. And how did you come to this team? Um, about five years ago, I was handed out my CV to just different coaching organisations, and I handed it out to JJ, and about a year later, he called me back and was like, do you want to start coaching the National League team? And I was like, I don't mind. And where do you think London basketball is going? All the way up. Um, London basketball in different age groups are moving upwards. I would say that the whole of England basketball is taking a step forward. So hopefully in the next few years, you'll see a lot more England players and London players all across the world. And what's the main, what would you say the main difference is from playing in London and playing in America? Um, well, if you have a player who's, let's say, a 10 out of 10, you'll have about 3 out of 10 players who are at that level in London. Whereas if you go to America, it would be about 9 out of 10 players. So those 9 out of 10 players keep pushing those guys to higher and higher and higher levels. So hopefully we can do and recreate the same thing in London. Thanks for the interview, coach. You're welcome. You got Matthew at point, controlling the floor and dropping dimes. Ellie in the post, dealing out blocks like there's no tomorrow. Cameron spreading the floor, organising plays, telling everybody where they should be. When Jude was about, he was a bucket machine. Scored 35 points against Tower Hamlet. A meal can get to the bucket with ease. Andrew's got athleticism and a nice shot when he's focused. Dwayne steps up when he needs to, when the guys are tired. Canal's got handles and can use them. Might need to dribble a bit less though. And Shaq's a good shooting guard because, well, he can shoot. The guys were tired after the session, but they had a game the next day, so they had to get up and go at it. They lost 70-63 to Tower Hamlet, a team they went to overtime with earlier in the season and lost by two points. When you're missing some key guys, it's going to be hard to get the W. It's going to be a long journey for some of these guys if they want to go to America and play ball. But some of the guys, this is a release of stress. A place to come and meet your friends, which you know for seven years. For others, it's a pathway to greener pastures. Keep a close eye on this team. They've got a lot of talent. Just need to find a formula that they can apply to every game and win. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you want more videos like this. And uh, safe.